You can customize a horizontal rule either by selecting it or you can go ahead and add one and then select it. In this case, I already had one, so I just went ahead and clicked on it to select it. And you can see down on my properties pane that I get some settings for my horizontal rule. Um, my first couple options is the width and the height, and I can set the width to be either in pixels or a percentage. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in pixels, and I'm going to go ahead and see what it looks like. Say I choose 25, um, it's pretty small, 50. Okay, and you can see, and it's just in pixels, so you're going to have to choose a pretty big number to get it to be very long. Let's go ahead and set it to 250. And then the height, this is going to determine how thick your horizontal rule is. So for instance, I could do 15 and it's going to be pretty thick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose 3 here. So I have a fairly thick horizontal rule. Um, I can also come over here and in align, I could choose the alignment for the horizontal rule. rule. I could choose to make it left, to make it center, or to make it right. I'm going to go ahead and stick with center. You can also take off the shading of the horizontal rule if you don't want it to look three-dimensional. And then over here if you've um, defined a CSS style for horizontal rules then you could go ahead and um, choose that from this drop-down list. And that is how you um, customize a horizontal rule.